Greater Bank in, in its various incarnations is over 70 years old. In many respects, organisations like Greater Bank are the original disruptor, the original sharing economy. They are established by their members to benefit their members and, and to enable their members to achieve goals and dreams that they wouldn't ordinarily have been able to achieve on their own. The profits that we make, 100% of that is um, redistributed back into competitive products and services for our customers or our owners. Certainly customers these days have a, a greater idea of their worth, so they are a lot more empowered, uh, I think, in terms of what they should expect from the organisations that they deal with. Um, they're more time poor, and I think we can all reflect on the fact that these days there seems to be less time in the day to get things done. So people have a much stronger expectation of the fact that I don't want to be mucked around. I want to be given um, good advice quickly and get to that kind of problem resolution quite quickly. When a customer comes to a bank, they're not here to, to buy a home loan. They're not here to buy a, a savings product. They're here because they have an end want or, or, or need in mind that they're trying to achieve. Oh look, Bank of the Year is obviously um, really important to us as an organisation. We see it as a really strong vindication of the direction in which the business is, is heading. There's a really strong energy and enthusiasm within Greater Bank uh, on the back of not only the awards we've won, but we can see the real differences that we're starting to deliver in terms of um, the service proposition that we're offering to our customers. So I think success creates further success uh, and Greater Bank again is an example of that in, in terms of the successes that we're having are further creating enthusiasm and driving the type of um, change supportive culture that we want to build within Greater Bank and a greater desire to take this organisation forward and make it better. Newcastle um, as, as a region and a town is really starting to, to punch at a level um, equivalent to a lot of other bigger cities in, in this country. Um, we have um, the skills, we have the capabilities to compete um, with the best and the brightest and, and we are very much starting to do that. On the back of some really good uh, government policy decisions, um, I think Newcastle and, and, and other large regional towns are certainly starting to see uh, the benefits, uh, not only in terms of, of infrastructure and broader development, uh, but it, what it's doing is it's bringing new skills, new capabilities, new thought leadership and I think ultimately over the longer term that will uh, further develop business opportunities, uh, jobs uh, in towns like Newcastle and attract further talent, which will only continue to see um, Newcastle prosper more and more into the future. Obviously, we've developed and rebranded over many, many years a number of times, but the fundamental philosophy of organisations like Greater Bank hasn't changed. We are still here, um, ultimately, to serve a purpose, and that is to deliver really strong competitive products and services to our customers who just happen to own us.